Scott Foss, he was my best friend in the late 70s. We used to get in my little Volkswagen square back and drive up and down Northern California looking for pools and ditches and ramps. And when the skate parks were open, we were there every day. And I think Scott was incredible style, incredible energy. He had a lot of people that looked up to him because he was just a, about as radical of a skateboarder as you could be but they were trying to force him into competition and I think he was just like a reluctant participant in, in skateboard right, right, competition. Well, this is the guy in third place, Scott Frost. Scott is an amateur competing in this contest. Will not win any prize money today, but he's doing it just, just to see how he places amongst the pros. That was a nice move right there, Dad. Right, that's what we were called slide rock and roll. He looks a little younger than the other guy. Yeah, he's 15. He's uh, been skating about three and a half years, though, and he really knows what he's doing. He does know what he's doing. He's getting a lot of side-to-side -side motion, too. Right. Changing all the tricks around. That looks like a pretty good run here. No fall so far. This is Scott Foss. Whoa! It was the beginning of the Bones Brigade, and I think he was kind of getting positioned to be in with Stevie and Jay Smith and those guys. He was a great contest skater, but in hindsight, it wasn't him. And I think it was just because at the true heart of it, he was a he was an underground skater. He was more comfortable skating with his friends at a backyard pool or a ramp or a ditch than he was in the competition. There will not be skateboarding as we know it, as we want it to be, without the Scott Foss figures. They're the soul of skateboarding. Scotty Foss, NorCal legend and style master. I'm so stoked for you. Congratulations on your Hall of Fame induction. It was an epic time. It was a fucking epic time. We were just little kids, you know. We were 14, 15. I was, I was wet behind the ears myself. Get a few pictures in the mag. You know, you go home, you show your parents. That's about it. You know, then you eat dinner and you do your chores. We had no idea what, what the impact was at large, you know. And especially nowadays, looking back in retrospect, people talk about it. And it, it really stokes me, you know, that you have a, that you have a, a profound effect on, on kids at that age. And if kids stayed into skating because of something I did, or something they saw or something, I think my life is well spent, you know.